In this video, we are going to learn how to solve systems of equations. We will learn how to do them by graphing. We will learn by substitution. We will also learn by elimination and addition. This is an overview. I'm showing you all three ways to solve a systems of equation. But if you want to get really good at solving these, I will have another video on solving systems of equations by substitution and by elimination. So you can watch the other videos. Okay, I have the system of equations, x minus y equals 2, and 2x plus 3y equals 9. I have to find an x and a y, a point that is true for not just one, but both of those equations. That could take a while if you were just trying to guess, but thank goodness you're about to learn a little algebra. I'm going to solve this system by substitution. My first step in substitution, pick a variable and solve for it. I could pick this x. It has a 1 for a coefficient. I could pick this y. It has a negative 1, which is not that hard to solve for. I could pick the x in the second equation, which has a coefficient of 2, or the y has a coefficient of 3. I am going to pick the x from the first equation. My first equation is x minus y equals 2. I'm solving for x. Many of you think you can't solve for x because you're so used to solving for y. In substitution, you get to pick. And I am picking to solve for this x. So I added y to both sides. I get x is equal to 2 plus y. I could say y plus 2. I have done my first step. Okay, I'm going to move this information out of the way. Now I chose to solve for the x in the first equation. So it's very important now to plug it back into the other equation. The other equation is 2x plus 3y equals 9. You told me x was y plus 2. So wherever I see x, I'm going to plug in y plus 2. So I will have 2 instead of x. You told me x was y plus 2. And I will write down the rest of the equation. Let's do a little distributive property. I will have 2 times y. That will be 2y. 2 times 2 is 4. Looks like I have some like terms here, the 2y and the 3y. That will be 5y plus 4 equals 9. Subtract 4 from both sides, and you will get 5y equals 5. So y will equal 1. I am not done. You only have y. Remember, we were looking for not only y, we were looking for x and y. So I have y, but I need x. I can go back to one of the original equations, plug in y, do a little bit of work, and find x. Or I could go back to this part where it says x is equal to y plus 2. So x will equal, you told me y was 1. x will be 1 plus 2, which is 3. So x is 3 and y is 1. That is the point, 3, 1. So in substitution, pick a variable, solve for it. Plug it into the other equation, find your other variable and write your point. Now we are going to take this same equation and solve this by elimination. In elimination, you are supposed to line up your variables. So on the left, I have my x's lined up. I have my y's lined up equals the constants. You need to decide which variable you want to eliminate. For the x's, I have a 2 here. It would really be nice if this first equation had a negative 2 in front of the x. Those are opposites. I have a negative 1 for my y in the first equation, positive 3. Wouldn't that be nice if one of them was 3 and one was negative 3? Hmm, because they're opposites. It doesn't matter. There are lots of ways we can work this equation. I am going to choose to eliminate the x's. 
I have 2 here. I can easily make this x negative 2 as long as I multiply the entire equation by a negative 2. So the first equation we now have negative 2x plus 2y equals negative 4. What I did, remember I can do anything I want to as long as I do it to both sides. I multiplied the left side of the equation by negative 2 using distributive property. I multiplied the right side of the equation by negative 2. The second equation I will leave as is 2x plus 3y equals 9. And then I add them up. That's why they call this addition. Or they call it elimination because you are eliminating something. Add them up. What is negative 2x and positive 2x? 0, exactly the way I planned. 2y plus 3y is 5y. Bring down your equal mark. Negative 4, positive 9 is a positive 5. And now we can simply solve this equation. Divide both sides by 5. y is equal to 1. I am not done. I need my x also. I will go back to one of the original equations. It does not matter which one. I will plug in y is equal to 1, and I will find my x. If y is 1, I'll just use the first equation. So x minus y, if you told me y was 1. So x minus 1 is equal to 2. Add 1 to both sides, x will equal 3. x is 3, y is 1. Write your answer as a point. The answer is once again 3, 1. Okay, and yes, there's still yet another way to solve the systems of equation, and that is by graphing. Of course, if we're going to graph it, there are lots of ways to graph it too. I'm going to take each equation and solve for y. So be x minus y equals 2. Subtract x from both sides. Divide everything by a negative because I want to solve for positive y. When you divide by a negative, just all the signs change. So we have y is equal to x minus 2. That's one of our equations. If I graph this, I know it will cross the y axis at negative 2 and it has a slope of 1. Now let's solve the second equation for y. I will have 2x plus 3y equals 9. Subtract 2x from both sides. I am skipping a few steps here because I am assuming that you all are good at solving equations if you are at this point in algebra. Divide everything by 3, so y will equal negative 2 thirds x plus 9 over 3. That will be 3. So I have my two equations. In this equation, the y-intercept is 3, and it has a negative slope, negative 2 over 3. And so I could graph each of them and see where they intersect. I am going to use my graphing calculator now. OK, I'm going to type both of these equations into my graphing calculator. I'm going to go to the y equal button. My first equation was x minus 2. I will go down. My second equation was negative 2 thirds x plus 3. Okay, I'm going to graph this. And you can see our intersection is the point 3, 1. If I wanted confirmation for my calculator, I could click on second trace, which is calculate. So second trace. I could go right down here to intersect. I could hit enter. And it's asking me, is this your first curve? Which means the line. I'll hit enter, meaning yes. Then they want me to get on the second curve. Yes, that's, a, that's my second line. It's asking me, do you want me to guess? The intersection is 3, 1. So when we solve this systems of equations by substitution, we got 3, 1. When we solved it by elimination, we got 
3, 1. And even when we solved it by graphing, with the graphing calculator, we got 3, 1. And that's not magic. That is mathematics.